All right, this next video has to do with this problem. They're giving us the quadratic function, and it's called quadratic because it's degree 2. The function is the op f of x equals the opposite of 3x squared plus 2. They want to know where the graph is increasing and where it's decreasing, and also if there are any relative extrema. When they ask the question extrema, they mean are there any relative minimum values are, and or are there any relative maximum values. So using the phrase extrema just kind of puts it in one. It's, it's telling you to look for the y values of the hills and the valleys. Okay, so let's pull our calculator over. I've already hit zoom six, right? Zoom six is how I got my standard window. And now I'm going to type y equals the opposite of 3x carrot 2 will square it. And then, of course, plus 2. So y equals the opposite of 3x squared plus 2. And I'm going to graph it. And what I basically have is a pretty simple parabola, okay? In fact, if I hit trace, you know, trace is the key that always finds your y-intercept. I can see that I just found the vertex. I don't, need to, I don't need to do anything else to locate the vertex. The vertex is the ordered pair 0, 2. It's the high point. So, I have a graph that looks roughly... Oops, let's get the pen working. I have a graph that looks roughly like this. This is the x-axis. This is the y-axis. This is the ordered pair 0, 2. 0, 2. And the parabola opens down. It's a little skinnier than usual, but, you know, that's because of the number in front. Now, what we're asked for is where is it increasing, where is it decreasing, and what are the relative extrema? Well, let's start with that. The relative maximum and the relative minimum values is what they'd like to know. Well, let's look at this. There's only a hill. There's no valleys. So is there a relative minimum? No. So for relative minima or minimum, I would just say there, there are none. Relative maximum tells us to look at the top of the hills. And in this case, the y value at the top of the hill is 2. So the relative maximum is 2. There's only one. There's no other hill. Okay? And in fact, one other comment. Not only is this a relative, but it's also an absolute because it is the largest y value uh, that this function ever displays. Okay? Uh, where is the function increasing? And where is the function decreasing? Well, remember... We always answer increasing and decreasing um, using the x value we scan from left to right. Here the graph is increasing, and here the graph is decreasing. And where it changes direction is right here at this x value on the y-axis, but that happens to be the equation x equals 0. Increasing and decreasing always hones in on the x value. So if I want to know where it's increasing, I'm coming from negative infinity, right? I'm walking along the x-axis from negative infinity, and when I hit zero, that's where it changes. So the way I would answer increasing is from negative infinity to zero. And remember to put a paren, you never put a bracket for increasing, decreasing, or constant. And then for decreasing, we're walking along the x-axis again, we start our walk at zero, but we keep walking along the x-axis out toward infinity. Some people get confused. They say, well, the graph's going down. I know the graph's going down. That's fine. But where am I walking? And then, you know, from that walk, I'm noticing the graph is dropping. I'm walking along the x-axis from zero to infinity. So that is the correct way to answer decreasing. Always remember these walks for increasing and decreasing are taking place along the x-axis 
and all they're doing is observing what's happening to the y value. But your answer for increasing, decreasing, and constant is always a scan along the x-axis, and it always will be. Okay.